uh, I guess I should say welcome home. It's great to be home, it really is. I understand that you grew up just a few blocks from Powell Hall. I did indeed. I grew up just on St. Louis Avenue, so very, very close to the hall. And you were a frequent attender, yes, attendee? I, yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Um, Freedom's Plow has a text by Langston Hughes. Yes. And uh, how did you come upon that? I've always admired the writings of Langston Hughes, and I have a collection of his poetry. And while working through that collection one day, I stumbled upon a poem entitled Freedom's Plow that really, in my mind, fit the, the essence of, of what I wanted to write for this particular commission to celebrate this anniversary. Now, if I, am I right? Langston Hughes' text speaks something to reaching to the spiritual and gospel traditions in, in African-American music. Yes, in many cases, a lot of the poems of Langston Hughes really sort of took on rhythmic and um, textual uh, themes that uh, surrounded the African-American experience. And this particular poem in particular uh, quotes the spiritual, keep your hand on the plow, hold on. Mm. Now this work was specifically commissioned for the In Unison Chorus. That is correct. And for its 15th anniversary. Yes. And you also have a close relationship with the chorus's longtime and only director, uh, uh, Richard, Robert Ray, I'm sorry, Robert Ray. Yes, that's <laughs> correct, yes. Um, are, there, are there any little uh, messages within, within the music to, to, to Robert? Uh, I think so, in some ways. Uh, Professor Ray really taught me a lot. He served as a great model and as a mentor and teacher for me. In fact, I was a member of the In Unison Chorus um, in its early uh, beginnings just before I left the St. Louis area and I also served as a section leader and an accompanist and so I really had a wonderful opportunity to learn about his writing style about how um, dedicated he was to reflecting the African-American experience in his writing and so every now and then as I wrote this piece I thought about what would he do in this particular spot and how would he handle this particular uh, motivic idea. And so in some cases, um, uh, thematically, uh, I'm, I'm sort of making a, a salute of sorts to, to him. And uh, it's really an honor to have this opportunity to write for uh, the chorus. Well, thank you so much, Rollo. And, and again, welcome back to St. Louis. Thank you so much. It's great to be here, and I look forward to hearing the performance. <laughs> 